Fleet Week is underway here in New York City and kicking off the festivities, always a special sight, the annual Parade of Ships. CBS News' John Elliott is live on Pier 88 on the west side with the latest on this wonderful event. John, what a day for this. And remember, Mary, all weekend long through the holiday into Tuesday, it's our opportunity to meet and thank these young men and women. So I'm going to let photographer Walter Rella paint the picture. So this, this is the fantail on the USS Wasp. This is an LHD class. That's landing helicopter deck. F-35s can take off. It's based out of Norfolk. And again, it, it, it pulled in a bit ago. You've got about 1,000 sailors and 500 Marines on this ship. Now, what's going on right now is they get to get off and explore the city. Earlier this morning, we met a, a different kind of service member who's getting ready to get on board. A two and a half year old yellow lab who is getting ready to deploy on the USS Wasp. Brooke Corson is with Mutz with the mission, so he'll actually be on board for a tour of duty on a ship, right? Yes, sir. With a handler. Yes, sir. Yep. What is the benefit of having a dog on board a ship? There's so many benefits. Um, so this is a pilot program with the Navy, and we've been taking dogs on ships for visits since last August. And just when the sailors come in, they'll say this is the best day we've ever had in the Navy. They'll sit, they'll play with the dogs. Um, they'll put their phones away unless they're taking pictures. They'll talk to each other. They'll talk to my puppy raisers. Um, I mean, just you can see the morale go up on the ship. I tell people I get to work with heroes and dogs every day. Okay. I got to tell you, you know, we were here earlier and the when the uh, wasp was coming in, you know, we talk about a thousand sailors and these marines, what they do is they man the rails. And that way, they're in their dress whites and they're facing out. This is uh, steeped in tradition and it's fascinating to watch. Another thing that we were able to see this morning is is our chopper was flying by this amazing parade of ships. We have ships from Canada, Italy, UK. The UK is right over here and remember, you got to check it out. There's all kinds of music, there's all kinds of presentations but there's also this um, just profoundly serious side and it was kind of a, a surreal moment this morning as we were standing right here on Pier 88 and the USS Cole came in and somebody said that's not the coal and uh, uh, one of the servicemen I was next to said yeah the coal remember that deadly bombing in 2000 17 service members killed and uh, 37 I think injured again it just it just kind of ties it all back together as we are just here and it, I mean look at the size of this rope and look at where this thing is headed Fleet Week is here, weather looks good, and it's our opportunity to explore, hear some music, make some friends, and thank these young men and women who help protect us in these amazing, oh man, these amazing ships and vessels around the area. Mary, I'm probably making uh, photographer Walter seasick, <laughs> so we'll send it back to you in the studio. It is so worth the visit, though. Wow, John, thank you so much.